little earlier I talked about the current government's pathology. George hit on an important point. Let's, let's pull the curtain back a little bit. This is all going to start at a standing committee of finance under the House of Commons. And what George said is exactly right. Any group that has had the hubris or audacity to oppose the government, any civil society group, this government is putting on some sort of McCarthy list. And they're going to go after them, and they're going to go after them through their charitable number, their charitable status. This is going to do two things. It's meant to put a chill effect through all civil society. We're not just talking about environmental groups. We're talking about women's groups, native groups. Anybody that sees a policy from the government that they want to raise an alternative voice to, Stephen Harper doesn't like. So what he's going to use is the charitable status of those groups. And if you don't have a charitable number, you can't get any funds from any government, and you can't raise money. He's going to try to choke these groups off of their lifeline. And there's only three places of opposition for a government. One is the opposition parties. The second is the media. How's that going? The third is civil society. So know that the larger question going on here isn't just about a pipeline, folks. It's about these larger voices and roles in our society. So don't, don't mistake what's happening. This is much, much broader. And this is went to that first question. How do we get everybody implicated? Well, this implicates everybody. Because this is a government not interested in dissent of any kind. And they're going at it in the most nefarious ways. I, I didn't think this was even possible.